Hi, this is Wes from W Farmstead. So, what we got going on today, um, if you take a look, we got Tanya's 321, Grasshopper 321D that she uses. And uh, if you look right over here, you can see the decks off of it. Well, Tanya happened to uh, hit one too many stumps. And uh, what she did here is she broke off the wheel and drove the uh, this part of the deck because it's the weakest part back down in and it broke the gussets all back up underneath the deck so uh, what we ended up uh, having to do when I saw it we ended up having to pull off the uh, deck so uh, our nice little fun uh, event that we had of putting on the uh, mule belt well we're gonna have to repeat that so that's going to be the easiest thing we do probably because this thing is a heavy dude. I mean, it is heavy. But so we got to take and we got to put this thing back on here so we can uh, get some some mowing done. Hopefully before it rains too much because it's the grass is all of a sudden uh, just poof, over the last week and a half. We've had a lot or a week. We've had a lot of rain and the grass was just perfect, man. It wasn't growing. It was doing just perfect about to burn out and uh, of course it rained and in about three days it poof, shot up with the heat so but we got to get this thing fixed so what what we're going to do today is uh i'll show we'll show you a little bit uh of uh us putting this deck back on so this thing is going to be a little bit of a pain because it is like i said it's a little bit humid out here so you have to excuse the sweating but uh this thing's kind of heavy and bulky and uh, it's a little bit of a pain to deal with. So we're going to have to slide this under. So what I did is I put a strap on there so Tanya can pull. And we've got a uh, three ton floor jack, low profile floor jack on the other side over here. So that uh, while Tanya pulls, I can take and push and then we can get it under there and get it lined up. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you uh, what I'm doing as I go. And uh, if you guys, you know, just like it is with all this, I'm basically showing this so that uh, our grandkids can see, you know, things that we did to fix and how we did it. But um, you, if you see an easier way to do it, by all means, do it, you know, do it. Comment, let us know. Yeah, well, yeah, comment, let us know. But... Do it, do it the way that you want to. Hopefully you'll learn something from the way that I do it. If I do it wrong, you won't do it. So, all right. So, uh, Tanya can go on ahead and put the uh, camera on the tripod, and we're going to have to pull this thing over underneath. So, okay. Ready, dear? Yep. Okay. Let's go. If you can, hold on. If you can, pull it that way just a little. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Let's see if we can pull this forward a little. It's starting to angle back that way. Okay. That should be about it, right? Somewhere, a little bit more. Yep. Nope. Nope. It's about where I want it. Okay. It's going to be a little bit of trial and error. Okay. So. Okay, so hopefully you saw us just a minute ago get this slid under here. What I'm trying to do is get this deck up a little bit because what we have to do, come over here, dear. Oop, let me get over here. We've got four chains, two on each side hanging down right here. 
and we have to get this deck up far enough to put that through and then tighten that. Same thing with right here on this side. How in the heck did that get? And if you look over here, we got it right here, it goes into right there, and then that one goes right there. So that's why we got the jacks on there too, to kind of lift everything up, okay? So those are basically 11 sixteenths is what it is. So I'm gonna try and get a little bit lazy this time, so I'm gonna use this. So, get this up a little bit, and then what they do is if you take a look at this, they got a bolt, goes through the chain, and then they have a screw right there, or a uh, nut right there, and it goes down into here. Okay? Then they got the uh, nut that goes on the other side. And of course, with me holding it up like that, it uh, makes it kind of hard to get into. Let's see if I can. Yeah, what's going on there? You know what? the wrong size okay I lied so that's five eighths and on this side it's eleven sixteenths So there's that one. Sweating like crazy. Makes it get our uh, sweat. It's easy on my knees. happens to be in a tight spot because I got a little piece I'm gonna have to deal with here in a few minutes that I'll show you and uh, it's kind of in the way because it's strapping This is the one that's going to be fun. 
Well, maybe not. Well, maybe so. I got that one pretty easy. I'm surprised. Okay. Well, this one in here. Okay, so we got the four chains on, so we're going to lower this one, pull it out. Lower this one and pull it out. Now, these things are holding up a little bar. which I'm going to have to try and get that. This is going to be fun. But what this bar does is it goes right into here, and then I put this and slide right into there. So that is a bar that goes back to the back of the frame. Okay? So... in there so yeah I got old knees so <laughs> okay do me a favor push that back to me just a hair There you go. Oh, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun. Push that back for me, the uh, deck. Hold on. Ooh, push that in for me, that thing, that. See if it'll go in. problem is, is you need three sets of hands. So, okay. So you saw we were having problems getting that pin through there. So what ended up happening was when I got this side in, I went over there and that side went right in. But of course, well, there we go. There's that one in. So I've got to put these bolts on them. And that's it. That puts everything up. That's get that gets these. Oh god. <laughs> Look and see if you can see that thing. I can't believe that. That was really nice of it. You know that?
Yeah, we finally found the piece. Tanya was able to get it. So I'm just putting the screws in here and... Okay, so we're getting ready to do our fun thing, the mule belt. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing it back through so that we can get into the back and have plenty of room. And then I'm gonna get Tanya set up with holding the, the uh, pulley up to give me space. So we got our mule belt around here. What I'm going to have Tanya do is come up underneath here and pull this up. And Tanya, you kind of want to be sure that I can get all that I can out of here. All right. Be sure it's straight. Now you may want to have take that towards the front. Let me let me bring you guys up here. All right. So, my knees are already dirty enough, but I'm going to put this. Is all the slack out of it there? Okay. So, if you can see right here, see how I've got this? Hopefully, what I can do, we're just taking... Spin the blades and there we go. Okay, let it go. All right. Quite a bit easier since we just did it a little bit, you know, uh, about two weeks ago. It made it a little bit easier. Yep. Okay, go on ahead and uh, pull them in and let's start the uh, blade. I'd load up just a hair. Yeah. Yep. Hold on. Yeah, I forgot to plug back in the PTO, the electrical. Okay. Okay. Okay, set it off. There you go. ready so that was a little bit fun putting the deck on the problem with it is is it's just bulky okay and uh, that piece back there I don't know why but that thing's on there but it's the uh, bolts or the nut and the bowl are stripped and there's no reason it should be because that little DeWalt shouldn't have uh, been able to uh, strip, strip out. It's not that powerful to strip out a grade 5 bolt. So I, who knows. But we'll just keep an eye on it because I do have another bolt that we can use, bolt and nut. So, but that was just a quick how we got it back on there. I don't know if I showed you everything, but... Um, let me uh, grab something I can show you because I got some new parts. Damn. Daggone wasp all over the place. They're bad. Okay. So that bolt that's stripped out, this is a pin. And this pin goes through a piece of the deck like that, but it's back here. It goes through there and it puts this... Uh, you can see this bracket that goes back to the back of the frame right here. So it goes right through there and then it bolts right here. And what that does is it keeps it there. So it steadies the deck and keeps the deck in one place. You have one on both sides. So, uh, so you have basically two pins. 
okay? And then you put in your uh, four chains, your suspension chains, okay? So I have one, two, three, four. Now, and it's back together and ready to go. Mule belt back on. The mule belt's back on, and that mule belt went a whole lot of quicker this time, <laughs> you know? That made it so easy. <laughs> made it so easy. But that's pretty much how we did it, you know? Um, hopefully you learned something from it. You know, maybe you'll learn, maybe you have a better way to do it, then hey, that's great. You know, this is just, this is the way we did it, so. Alrighty, well, we all, per we appreciate y'all being around, and y'all have a good one. Take care.